Warning. At SSP. Shut. Now that we have our warning out of the way, let's get on to the very controversial topic. Step one on making everyone else in the BB Discord server lose all faith in you, have a different opinion. So basically the story so far. Ben asked a question on the features on what should be added to BBR2. A lot of people answered. My ideas were alright, VC was pretty dumb though, I'll admit. But my third wish for BBR2 was that there would be a proper support class. This angered SSP, and then we argued. This sadly wasn't the first time we argued, so this isn't exactly a new topic. I argue that Sanchez is not a support class, though I do believe that he is the most support-like. I'll get to this later. SSP argues that Sanchez and Graham are supports. Lily argues that Sanchez and Botch are supports. And Rue argues that Sanchez is a support, but he sucks at it and really needs to be improved. So here are the arguments for today. Is Graham a support? Is Botch a support? Is Sanchez a support? Can Sanchez be a better support? Choose a side and then relentlessly argue that with no chance that your opinion will be changed. Keep in mind that in this video, I will just be explaining why I feel this way for all the classes and their roles. If I changed your opinion, great. If not, yay. It doesn't really matter all that much. So enough with the chit chat, let's get right on to the controversy. Yay. Is Graham a support? No. The only slightly supportive weapons at Graham's disposal are turrets, bind a field, and rivet gun. They all suck at their job. Except for bind and turrets. Bind is just an easy way to hinder your target, and the turrets is just a way to camp. I can completely decimate teams with those weapons, and you can too. And I don't think offense is the best support, no is it? Hmm. Also radiation weapons are purely offense. Don't come here saying that they're support, they ain't. All of them do no damage, except for musket, or at least they do very little damage. Close to nothing. Why is damage so important anyways? That's how your teammates kill people. Remember that radiation is completely different from health, so if your team is shooting the enemy, a radiation gram is a pretty useless gram unless he gets the explodey before his team does. This doesn't seem like a supportive role if you ask me. Another thing that the journal can do is block power-ups. I mean, yeah, that's kind of supportive, I'll give it that. Is assassin support? No. Pure and simple. Silly Lily. Though, on a support level, assassin is second. That's stupid. How can an assassin be a support? I assume you're thinking. It's very true. Botch is not a support, but he can be thought of as one. I mean, kind of. I see where Lily gets it from though, but I still disagree with her. Botch mainly uses poison type primaries and secondaries, so he can dart in, boop, and dart out. This is supportive because he is aiding his team in getting extra damage onto the enemies. Then he's a support, right? Silly you. By that logic, every class in the game is a support. Oh boy, I'm loving that support that the Oliver is giving me. Thank you, Oliver. Oh boy, the controversy that started it all. Basically, SSP said that Sanchez is a support man. Yay. His main argument is that Sanchez's fields are used for his team, 
So that must mean he's at support. No. Silly SSP. Sanchez's circles can be used by your team, but just because they can doesn't mean that that's the only reason. Of course, when you guys are doing your 2v2s and 1v1s and well, whatever stuff that I'm too bad at the game to take part in, you guys can strategically use the circles so both persons use it. Though, it doesn't mean that it's a support weapon. Just because it can be used in a certain way doesn't mean that it's the way it's supposed to be used, period. So, how is it meant to be used? I believe that the most popular way should be the way that defines its use. In practice, I've seen more people use the field selfishly and to their own gain. So, the circles, use them any way you want. Just realize that in pubs at least, it's mostly used selfishly. Which isn't exactly a good thing, but isn't exactly a bad thing either. Though I'm not going into detail about primaries as I did with the fields, I'll quickly glance at them. Parashot is the only real supportive one out of all of them. All the others can pretty easily get a kill, glue bomb more or less. Spin baby spin is trash, kinda like Parashot. So they should be reworked so they aren't useless. For my final bits of evidence, I'm just gonna show a little conversation that Rue and Brian had. This is the easy bit because I don't have to write anything for the script. Yo, don't harp on Bob. His opinion is valid and makes sense. Thanks, Rue. Let's try to keep the criticism pointed away from referring to others' opinions and arguments as stupid. It's an ad homian fallacy and causes unnecessary tension and toxicity. Brian over there being the only adult in the server. Also, Sanchez's support options still fall short, no matter how good you claim you can use them. A penny is still technically legal tender, but it isn't exactly the best way to pay, is it? Sanchez's description. Back from the brink of death, Sanchez has been rebuilt from the arm up. Use his unique weaponry to slow down the opponents and finish them off with his devastating melee attacks. Sounds to me like he's a pick class with support options. Hmm. Sounds to me like his description is telling people that he specializes in slowing his enemies to get in close for the melee kill. I remember when our biter was released and the and the definition provided by a Skyvu member was one who controls a battlefield. I mentioned that before, and I was told that he had nothing to do with melees. Hmm. His preferred melee number. His prefer. His his melees are, are good. Hmm. So it looks like Sanchez isn't even supposed to be primarily support. If you read through all of their descriptions, none of them hint at supporting others. Just colorful description of unrealis- Un- Unreal- Reaching Death, Fury, Bullets, etc. on your enemies. Maybe Graham with the specialties in defending areas of the map and controlling enemy traffic. Hmm. So why in God's name did SSP and the others randomly throw support roles into them? I imagine it has something to do with the fact that support is a role they use in comp strategy and his set is close or a versatile set. Okay, that's fine, but that doesn't make it an excuse to try to balance the game like that. Hand cannon shouldn't be powerful because it's on a support class. 
Ha. The immortal words of Ms. Simeon, amazing world of gumball. You are wrong, and I was right. JK, don't be salty, SSP. On. Come on. Come on. Okay. So this is the end. Haha, <laughs> yay. I know I didn't change SSP's mind, but maybe I changed someone else's. I know this video isn't the best way of conveying such a big topic and argument. I might do another one if I really need to, but for now, it's up to Brian and Ben to choose in what direction Sanchez goes in for the future of BBR and BBR2. Maybe we could have another overclock video if Trevor didn't quit. So I'll leave with this one thing. Sanchez is currently not a support in my eyes, but he could become a better support. Or maybe there could be another class whose sole purpose is to help the team. Kind of like the medic in Team Fortress 2. And, but instead of healing, he could do something else, like giving extra damage or giving more resistance, or I have no idea. That's up for Skyvu, haha. <laughs> so, this is the end of the video. I hope I'm not getting crucified after this. Make sure you tell me exactly how I'm wrong in every way possible in the comments below. Thanks, and have an interesting day. Thank you.